So when you make a line graph and you put a phase change line in, you don't want to have to move it every single time that you put new data in. So here's how you're gonna do it. So you've got all your data here, and then the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is highlight all your dates, and then you're going to right click on that and click Format Cells, and you're gonna scroll down until you find one that has the date and the time, and hit OK. Now find where you're gonna do your face change and insert two rows above the first date of the second condition. Now you're gonna copy the cell above it, paste into it, and then you're gonna change that from AM to PM, and then copy paste that date into the cell right below it because you want those two to be exactly the same. Okay, now you're gonna look at your highest data point, which here is five and you wanna do one above that. So we're gonna do six. So our first one here is going to be zero, and then the second one will be six. And you'll see why in just a second. Okay, so now you're gonna select all your data, including that second column that you put there, and you're gonna to go to scatter plot. You don't want to do line graph, because it won't let you do what you need to do. So if you wanna change up your little series thing here so that you don't have that phase change line displayed as a series, you just click on it and delete it. And then you can move your series thing up here if you want a series. Um, and then you can just select the plot area and scoot it to the side so that your series is visible there. Now you're gonna select your horizontal axis and click over here in formatting and click on this little square here that says size and properties if you hover over it and you will go down to alignment and text direction. You're gonna wanna click rotate all text to 270 degrees. Now you've got it so that the date and time are still there. So we wanna change that. So go over to axis options, which looks like the little bar graph icon here. And you're gonna go down to number and you're gonna click date and it fixes it for you right there, no problem. It's still cut off a little bit, so we can just adjust the um, area. And if that doesn't work, you can adjust the plot area like this, because sometimes if you just adjust the whole area, it's still cut off. Now we want to change the color of these lines because we like them all to be black and white. So you go over here and then you've got line selected and you click black and then go over to marker and click black for the fill, and then you have to scroll down to the border of the marker as well and make sure that's black. I don't know why they double did that, that's really annoying. And then let's change our face change line color. You're probably already on marker here, so just go ahead and click none, because we don't want a marker, and then go to line and color it black. Now you're gonna want to click on your vertical axis and go over to axis options. And we want our maximum here to be six because we want the face change line to reach the top of the graph. And just hit enter and it should change it automatically. Now we wanna click our vertical grid lines, click line and fill over in the formatting menu and we wanna just click no line because we don't want those, those vertical lines. Now the most important part here is you are going to want to not ever have to repeat all of these steps again. So right click somewhere in your graph and you're going to select save as template and it will bring up a little save window here and you can name it whatever you want. And then next time when you go in to insert a scatter plot, you can do load from template and use that template again so you don't have to do all of this. Now let's see what it looks like to add data in this. So go and just drag down your last date here and input another data point and then click on your graph and just that blue box there is your data range. Just pull that corner down. And if you've got two boxes, pull that second corner down as well.